Okay, so I found them. Uh, these are some of the uh, little stickers that I got from um, uh, Temu, which is, these are just adorable. So I'm going to see if I can find something that I think would be super cute there. It is super cute, but I hate, I hate that I would lose so much of it. Now I could do it like that. I could do it like that, stick it down, and then um, do that little trick on the back so that you can still tuck. So it looks like our little duckies are standing on the paper. I really like those duckies. Let me see if there's anything else in here as I go through my cute little stickers. Gracious, these are adorable. I do love these. This particular set was interesting because it came with these really cute guys. These, um, you know, definitely all, all of these sort of vintagey ones and then it broke into ones that weren't vintage, which I thought was kind of weird, but you know, or, or would it be better off doing, no, I think we need to stick with duckies. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Hmm. Definitely not. It's really cute ones, but I really wish they had a dedicated one that had even more of the Easter, uh, vintage Easter look. It's cute. All right. I am actually not seeing any ducks at all. I like that one. I am, however, putting a few at the top that I may want to use with this. It's kind of cool. Okay. That one's gonna go on top. All right. So, well, it could be little duckies or it could be the lamb, but the lamb, yeah, there are problems with the lamb to start with because I'm gonna miss out a little bit. So for this first page, because remember we have one in the back. All right, so sometimes it's just a whole lot of trial and error. All right, with this one, I'm going to make it a little bit easier on myself. <laughs> so. All right, I guess, you know, I don't know whether I should tell you all that I just opened this bottle with my teeth. I'm savage that way, Arr. <laughs> Okay, I kind of had to, because I'm trying to hold this in place. That I think that's better. So now I've got glue all over myself, but yeah, that's better. So when we put this guy down, oh, that's super cute. Okay, I love it. Let me go ahead. I keep forgetting to. Honestly, don't forget to cap your bottle. Um, I also just, um, yeah, not a Tamu commercial, uh, but I also just ordered a whole bunch of these. Now, I normally get these from Hobby Lobby, but it's like $5 for six of them. And Tamu had a whole series of them. So I've just, uh, they, they're in my next, uh, not my next order. They're in the order after that. <laughs> Because that place is daggone addictive, and I am trying very hard to keep my orders down to one a month. Because um, I don't want to go bankrupt ordering from Tamu. But we'll see. There might be news about them coming from us coming soon. We'll see if it works out. Okay, I got that one down. Now, let's go back to this ducky. So, yeah, kind of right across here, almost from the neck to the tail, I'm gonna draw a line. Let's see if I can get that. Did I get it? All right, so the reason I'm doing that is because I want to peel that back and I want to go ahead and do my my jiggery poker trick. 
I really, you know, um, I w I'm going to do this for the next one because I didn't really think about it, but I really do need it more often than I realize. Um, I'm just going to get a little tiny um, sealable container, maybe something like this, but something that I know is, is going to stay well sealed. And because um, this one is, it's not bad. Anyway, something that I can put some of this in so I don't have to open the whole thing each time. All right, so we're just going to, I'm not going to squeeze it. I don't want that to go. Oh, that's a lot. I don't want it to go everywhere. I don't even keep it on here. Okay, so now I have to really carefully. I want to be super duper careful to not. Um, get the part that I don't want to lose. Okay, now I'm going to move this. Make sure that's not on there. All right. <laughs> it's like an operation. <laughs> All right. So now this doesn't stick. This is going to just be and what I need to do. I'm going to get Mr. Ducky in here. Oh, no, don't you dare. I'm not ready for you to do that. So I'm going to bring Mr. Ducky partially under. I want his little web feet showing and yep, we're good. Yay! What do you think? I love him. He's super cute. Um, and, and so now you can see, and I, I have not lost any pocket space. I still have, let me, um, let me grab Mr. Rabbit here so I can still, I've got that full pocket. Isn't he cute? And I've got this full pocket space and it's just really sweet. Actually, I should probably be shooting the duck. This is something I got, I don't know, I've had this for years um, from when Little Bird was little. These were like, you know, learning words and things. He's older and as I said, I don't have any grandchildren and very likely none in the too near future. So we've got the beginnings of two signatures. That's really all they are, the beginnings. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so with this one, I did not have any off cuts that I liked. I'm moving this light a little closer at this point. Oh, there we go. Um, so I'm gonna make one. Yeah, I, didn't. <laughs> I feel like the Grinch. If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. <laughs> Excuse me. Apparently, I cracked myself up. Okay, so I'm just going to get out my handy-dandy Cricut. I am going to start by getting rid of... I don't even need to do that. Um, I So I picked this one out. I just like it. I don't know why. To me, this just looks... Oh, that's upside down for right now. But this just looks really sweet the way it pulls in the greens and the yellows and this very dark green right here. I don't know if the lights are doing it justice. Um, but I just thought this, for whatever reason, this just, I just liked it. I just like it. So I'm going to go with it. Um, all right. So we're going to do a little three incher here. And that's all I need to do. I don't need to Cut anything else off. And this goes into my pile. And I'm going to go ahead, since I have this out right now, um, I am actually using this on my last one. I love that. I really, really do. I think that's adorable. I might even make it three and a half inches. I might make it a little bit higher. I just really, really love that. And I also really love the continuity of having this from the front to the back. Um, I don't normally do that, but I'm really liking this, and I may I may decide to start doing that more in the future. So let me get that out of the way. All right. 
This is the hardest part to me, I think, just getting this lined up perfectly so I get a straight cut here and don't lose anything. I know, I'm being silly. Okay, so with this one, line it up. I want to do it this way. Oh, I did say I would do three and a half inches, didn't I? All right, there we go. I can do it that way. <laughs> I know y'all think I'm being silly. Oh, what I want to do, because this one's already a cut edge, this is not a cut edge. And if I can ever, you know, whenever I can use a finished edge, I just like doing it. I don't, I just feel like it's a little bit more finished. I don't know. Um, there we go. There's my three and a half inches. I was being silly forest for the trees type thing. Um, that also gives me a nice finished edge to a line. Okay. That should be right. And I have another cute little piece left over. So let's see how well we did here. Oh, that is pretty good. That is pretty stinking good. All right. I want to take a quick look at this one and just see. Oh, yeah. I, I super duper like that one. I like how close that is. Um, and it really is going to depend on the pocket. But I can, you know, I think now I might go between the three and the three and a half inches. Um, put that one aside. We'll do number three. This one's very watercolory. It is very starkly different from this one. Uh, it does not bother me. It, I'm sure that there are some people who would say, oh, that, that doesn't look right to me. But um, but I, I just really think that for some reason, the way the colors are going together, the way things are just kind of matching up for me. I like it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right, here we go. We're almost done with these pages. Now, there is something else I could do if I was feeling like, you know, I really like this, but it's slightly incongruous. Um, I could grab another sticker or a stamp that could go along here. I'm not sure that I have any in that batch. I think a cute little piggy somewhere up here would be really cute. So I'm going to hold off at the moment doing anything to this. Um, I should have plenty of space to do it. It's, it's unlike the other one. And I still have to do something to the back of the other one because that, that, uh, uh um, scan sim symbol is still there, but, but let's get this one done. I want to line it up. This one I'm, I'm trying to get pretty tight to it's not good. I've got a little smidge here. I don't know why. Once you start. Let's see. I helped anything. But I had a little piece hanging off, and that I cannot put up with. I, I'm i okay with it not being perfect, because honestly, it doesn't show when you do this. Um, but a little um, piece hanging off is going to rip. That, that I don't want. Okay, here we go. Let's do the teeth thing again. And why is that light flickering? There is literally no reason for it to flicker. It's actually uh, in my computer. The, uh, my uh, Several of my lights actually plug the, the uh, UP, um, 
UPC plugs directly into my computer and that's how they turn on. Uh, so it's really kind of weird that it keeps flickering because the other lights are fine. So great. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> it's okay. It's a challenge. I'm okay with challenges. All right. That one's done. All right. Cute. So now we go. I Looking at these, these really dark greens, um, you've got, I just like it. I think it works. I don't know. Like Sharon, you keep talking about it. It's fine. Move on. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna line this guy up. Right. And here we go. Really, really cute. Okay. And make sure it's all on there properly. Let's get see. Why the heck does it look like it's sticking out a little bit? I had one of these one day. I tell you, it must have taken me half an hour to get it straight. And I don't know why. It just kept sticking out. It was like it was trying to make me crazy. It's really not that hard. It shouldn't have had to try that hard. It's, it's pretty easy to make me crazy. Okay. Let's get this side down. Yes, yes, I really did just get glue all over me. Oh, that's so cute. Notice too, with all these layers, the, the staples are just disappearing. There's there's a lot of layers in between them. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. And again, oh my golly, why does it keep spitting? It's so weird. I really haven't known it to do that. I don't know why it keeps spitting. I probably just need to clean the nozzle. Now, again, for some reason, this paper is just a tad shorter than the other paper. It's also building paper on paper. So it doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. It's in. It's part of the signature. There'll be so many other papers around it. Um, you're just not going to see it. it it's going to be like the internal part of a book. But here we go with the little duckling finding his way home at last. Oh my golly, I love that. Okay. All right. So now we've done uh, the, the structural stuff and a little bit of the fun stuff. The next part is going to be actually building up our signatures with different, with the papers and things that, um, that I use for building up my signatures. And I usually do a first run of the signature and then I do a second round signature. Um, just because as I build, I may say, okay, I think I need more here or I need something else here. I like to use lined paper and other things. So um, anyway, so that's next. 